It's great to have uh, Chuck Pierce and Dutch Sheets here with uh, Glory of Zion and also from Dutch Sheets Ministry. And we've had a relationship here at Sunrise Christian Center. I'm Pastor Dan Hammer, and this is my son, Pastor John Hammer, who's now the senior pastor. I'm now the senior apostolic leader serving him and the vision of the church. And they're here for a time to plow. And they've been going around the states and stirring up all kinds of good stuff I've heard. And we just really enjoy their ministries, their integrity, all the years they've sown into this whole region. We're just believing God for incredible things in the Northwest. Do you want to just share a little bit about what you're doing, what's been happening? Well, it's always great, Dan, to be back up here. I started thinking we've we've had a 25-year relationship. Yeah. and. And I've just watched the progress up here mm -hmm. because I you look back when all that started back in the early 90s, yeah. and you wonder how in the world <laughs> would the remnant ever come into the strength that it's yeah. in now. But I want to thank God for y'all and yeah. this church. And uh, really, now it's an apostolic center that's yes. being used by, by the Lord here to really gather and strengthen the remnant in this area. And that's what these gatherings are about. Mm -hmm. We want to plow up what has been seeded in the past that never came into fruition. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the, the awakening that's coming, you know, one of the things the Lord, the Holy Spirit told Chuck that we were to do in these was to prepare the land for awakening. Yeah. I heard in that what God said to Abraham, next year this time, you're going to have a son. It's mm -hmm. like not not it's not it's not another around here we go for several more years trying yeah. to prepare the land. It's time now go tell the people yeah. to get ready and and plow get every, get the dirt broke broken up and yeah. the and the seed ready. So that's what we're, that's that's what we've been doing and these meetings have been just absolutely amazing. Awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've watched how J Dutch and Chuck have prophesied in this area, and we've been praying and worrying over the prophetic words, and we're starting to see fruit of those 25 years break out everywhere. Mm -hmm. Do you have something, John, you wanted to ask or share? Yeah, well, I just wondered, like, uh, are there, as you guys travel, you have a unique perspective like we do in our region because we're here, but you see kind of the big picture a lot of times. So are there any trends that you see as you've been traveling, positive or maybe even negative, just like things to watch out for or things that would be encouraging for the church right now? Well, one thing I said when we pulled in, I said everything I've ever prophesied up here, I've watched you yeah. accomplish. Mm -hmm. I've watched the Lord back mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've pressed in. You've done it. Uh, but I think this is unique right here. Mm -hmm how you're transferring the mantle yes. and we're moving into a succession here, uh -huh. which is really, really awesome to see mm -hmm. that happening. So I think this is uh, really the first place I've seen that happen. I saw it happen in Florida in one place we were at, and I believe uh, this is going to be what starts happening this year because of the shift that we're in. Oh, so yeah, I just yeah. want to bless you guys as oh, you move forward. You. The, uh, the thing that I've been one of the things I've been observing is that there is there is a, a mindset now coming to a remnant of the body of Christ that is much more kingdom in its thinking than local church. Yeah. OK. Yeah. You know, and, and you always have to qualify that because yeah. we're not dissing the local church. Right. There's right. going to have to be places like this, whether it's an apostolic center or a local church, whatever you call it, where congregations meet, yeah. Yeah. where you can do things as a company of people yes. have to have that. But so many leaders and people they're not just thinking about their local house now uh -huh. they're thinking how do we yeah. impact this region with yeah. the right. kingdom of god it's changing everything it is it literally is. changing everything because pastors are not just thinking about their house anymore right. and i'm not saying everybody's thinking that way yeah. Yeah. but there is a broad group of people in this nation That's that right. are thinking that way now. i absolutely yeah. agree with that mm -hmm. and you know because when the lord prophesied to peter he said i, I i'll build upon this prophecy mm -hmm, of yeah. revelation that you've, you've got. But I'll give you the keys to unlock the kingdom. And you, see, you can't build. There's a, peri there's a season periodically where you can't build till you unlock. Mm. And mm, so I, I believe we're at an unlocking season right now so we can build the future. Yeah. That's good. It's been exciting to watch how God's bringing the older and younger generation together, I think, in new ways where they're working together and they're blessing one another, honoring one another. And it's been amazing to me to see young, the younger generation invite fathers and mothers of the faith and seeing this whole fivefold ministry even affecting the evangelical church, the reformed church of them starting to recognize the fivefold ministry as God's plan for the mm -hmm. church. 
Yeah. It's really amazing to see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The other thing I see about the the generational thing is is it, 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 we're not not doing the mindset anymore. At least a lot of people where mm -hmm. the the father or the 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 older per person has to get so old they just can't function anymore, yeah. and then they step clear out of the yeah. picture and give it to the next generation. Yeah. What I'm seeing now is let's run together for a season. That's right. I don't yeah. have to be so old that I can't do this any, right. anymore to, to hand this off. Yeah. And yeah. now we'll run together. So we're getting not just succession, but yeah. synergy. That's right. Yeah. The synergy of the generations yeah, right. working together. And I'm that's watching right. it in almost every area of yeah. what we're doing where yeah. I, I'm just watching each somebody raise up in each one of those areas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here's what I've been praying. There's two things that your anointing double especially in this transference here, but also that, um, that you understand the warfare dynamic we've gone through so you can excel past the warfare that yeah. you'll be in. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. That's really good. That, and that, and you do that, now you're building on yeah. those mm -hmm. that have gone before you right. uh, rather than just uh, starting over. And I think it's important for us younger guys to remember that somebody paid a price for what we get to do freely because people walked out on my dad when he started prophetic oh, conferences or you mm -hmm. talk about the apostolic you know and That's so right. we can get up and prophesy or give a word of knowledge yeah. or pray for That's healing right. and we don't really we very rarely have any you know pushback sure. or or struggle and it's really because somebody That's, else yeah. sacrificed for us to be able to do that so i, really I don't good. know if they, right. i don't know if they walked out on him or me <laughs> i was here both, both. Both. Oh, i was here <laughs> both. i was here the very first one i remember yeah. i remember the first prophetic conference and chuck looks next to me and he goes there's no prophetic anointing in the northwest i go none he goes not a i go none it had like, been not a even season. a little bit and, he goes, and that's none. the beauty of us yeah. being back here because you yeah. you actually were the precursor in the apostolic movement yeah. mm -hmm. and latter rain and all of yeah. that and now it's as if it's time to yeah. advance it that's all right. so that's right. we're excited about being here yeah. you want to you wanted to ask a couple millennial oh. type questions oh yeah i just well as you guys in the last in 2019 as you've been traveling are there any highlight like miracles prophetic moments answers to prayer or things that you just were like wow i think in what we're doing it's linked with heaven and earth and the land and the people that we're part of and I think one of the things that we've seen is each meeting seems to be a miracle mm -hmm. meeting. It's true. And it's yet awesome. we're, we are seeing uh, miracles start happening. Yeah. But really what this is about is how all of a sudden you see the Lord sovereignly show up. Yes. And I think that's what you're going to yes. see as we meet tonight. You're going to feel the residue of his presence yeah. sending people out of here yeah. to accomplish yeah. things that are beyond what we've ever accomplished. Yeah. Awesome. The, the strength that the, the, the added or strength that we, we've been experiencing has not been so much physical miracles. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's one more stage to prepare for that. Yeah. But, but what has been so striking to me is the, is the increased depth of the meetings, mm -hmm. the depth of the words, the depth of the prophecy, the depth you can, you can tell the people are able to receive it at mm -hmm. when we were in south dakota what god did with the with the first nations oh, people it was just amazing. incredible yeah, same absolutely. thing in new jersey i didn't i didn't i hadn't gone there in my mind ahead of time that this would be mm -hmm. about the first nations i did in south dakota but not new mm -hmm. jersey but but it was like missing pieces that we've been moving toward for 20 That's years awesome. in that whole mm -hmm. world of uh, we white folks and the first mm -hmm. nation yeah. god just slammed it in there and awesome. said now you now you can run together mm -hmm. it was amazing and, and then boston was just Ugh. it was a sovereign meeting and mm -hmm. then uh chicago actually we did deal with the racial issue yeah. mm -hmm. we did and, and got revelation of the two demonic principalities matter of fact she yep. just wrote me today the two mm -hmm. demonic principalities mm -hmm. that uh are ruling that area mm -hmm. and it's also been interesting who's hosted mm -hmm. these gatherings yep. because it's been various people uh, various people it's not always been from an apostolic center like mm -hmm. this right uh like chicago was the president of easter seals hosted mm -hmm. it for us so you know you're seeing everything move in different ways mm -hmm. yeah. you have one and more then, question i better probably get yeah. into the meeting yeah Go ahead. Me too. If, so it seems like there's an emerging generation, like you said, that wants to touch regions, that wants to touch government, that wants to touch, you know, beyond just like kind of having church services. 
So if people are getting involved as a younger leader in the apostolic and prophetic movement, what would be like your piece of advice for them? What's one of the top things they need to know that, you know, you wish you knew when you started out? I, I would <laughs> say this and then Dutch add to it. I would say understand the foundation that you are building on. Understand God's order. I, I've noticed one of the things that I have noticed is it's important to understand the first order of God. When you go all the way from the garden to first apostles, if you'll understand it, you'll know how you're building because mm -hmm. actually you're building a foundation for the whole region, not a hierarchy in the region. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I think what you're doing here is expanding a foundation. Mm -hmm. Right. And I, I think uh, the most important thing for for young leaders like yourself in this in this way, in, in what God's about to do, I would say two things. First of all, what he what he's going to do in each region will be different, and we're going to be back to that. Hey, you've never been this way before thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't. There is no formula for what he's going to do. There gotcha. are principles, but we're going to have to we're going to have to really listen and move in revelation and wisdom. To, and 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 that just takes us back to the generational thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. You've got to stay. We've we've got to stay connected the younger and the older mm -hmm. you know you god may give you an, a, an incredible idea that's going to break things loose in the region yeah. but he may have the wisdom to keep you from messing the whole thing up <laughs> you know that's just right. how it's going to work mm -hmm. yeah. because it is yeah. going to be new yeah. and you're going to do things he's he hasn't yeah. done before no one's done before and and we're going to have to say yeah. okay what does this look like how do yeah. we do this yeah. without tearing everything up in the process right. mm -hmm. so it's it's going to have to be this revelation holy spirit listening to him walking in the wisdom and walking together. I think that's the best advice I could give a young yeah. leader. And right. finally, there's two things. If he, if he comes back tomorrow, uh -huh. he's looking, will I find faith in the earth? Mm -hmm. And will I find you watching? So mm -hmm. you're gonna have to keep watching Yeah. and you're gonna have to keep moving by faith. Amen. Yeah. That's Absolutely. Good, good yep. stuff. We really want to encourage you to support Chuck Pierce and Glory of Zion Ministries. It's been an incredible blessing this whole region and nation and the nations of the earth. And support them by your giving, by your time. Watch their podcasts and Dutch Sheets Ministry. Dutch has been such a great leader in intercession and leadership for our nation. And we just want to really bless them as they're here. And bless you as you go to Alaska tomorrow. God bless and you both. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, thanks for being here. Thank guys. you. Thank Appreciate you. your time. Thanks. Yeah.